I found that I got better from the behavior of the eating disorder and had zero idea why I actually was doing it. So I was doing like the most unpleasant, imagine like, you know, throwing up in toilets, spitting your food out, living in your own crap and like shamefully, shameful, embarrassing. You don't want anyone to know like teeth getting rotten, um, body shape changing back and forth, never knowing because you can't control yourself what size your body's going to be in two weeks. So it's hard to make plans if that's, you know, your issue, which, which, you know, was mine around body image. So you only learn how to manage the behavior. You don't understand like what goes on underneath. And the beauty of a borderline diagnosis is that I think it does the job of what I wish more therapy would do in general, which is it has to, re you have to really understand sort of your relationship to self and your relationship to other. You have to become rigorous with like, um, becoming aware of how you feel and about something and looking at it and questioning it and turning it over and really also wondering, wait a second, when I responded to this person in this way, how did that make them feel? You know, and like, how is this impacting them? And therefore the relationship we have and ultimately just for you to live a better life. I mean, the goal is to have like a super rich, robust um, life with rich relationships. And so um, the, uh, having a borderline di diagnosis means that you have to like deeply investigate those things.